in this box is something which could totally redefine golf as we know it. I'm not even over-exaggerating. So let's do it, and let's do it now. Guys, in today's video, I'm honestly not overreacting when I say what is in this box could totally redefine golf as we know it. I'm not talking about the tee pegs, although we are short on them, so that's wonderful. Guys, I have the brand new Wilson Triad Golf Balls. You may be wondering why this is such a big deal. These golf balls claim to hit more fairways, allow you to attack more pins, and sink more putts, which is basically everything that we want. So in today's video, we're gonna attack the first few holes here at Woolley Park Golf Club and see if these golf balls really do make it easier to hit more fairways, attack more pins, and hold more putts. The science behind it and everything. Because you see, if I'm being brutally honest, I find it difficult to get excited about new golf balls. Until now, now I have these in two different finishes. We have a raw finish and a painted urethane finish. I'm going to go with the painted finish today, and I've actually not been playing that well on the opening holes here at Woolley Park Golf Club. Oh, that was really toey. Oh, oh what a so much so I have been missing fairways and greens, and I've been bogeying a lot of holes. So today we're going to see if we can potentially shoot under par over the opening few holes here at Woolley Park Golf Club if we can hit more fairways than we have been doing due to this high MOI construction and if we can sink more putts you get it you get it right four iron off the first tee we're going to be as attacking as we can is this going to fly any straighter definitely a nice low trajectory and that's uh, that's one fairway out of one, hundred percent we can call that. So we'll keep a score as we go, and we'll move on. And you see, often we see new golf balls that claim for higher ball speed, for better spin rates, just for more distance generally. Apart from the illegal ball that we've all tested, the Polara, I've never seen one that claims to hit more fairways due to high MOI design. This is gonna be really interesting. Guys, if you wanna see more golf related content, make sure you hit that subscribe button below and leave us a like if you're enjoying this video so far. Let me know which one would you use, the raw finish or the painted finish? Triad or Triad R for raw. You see, for me, the raw finish just looks a touch dull. And I think if you used it in muddy conditions, which golf is usually played in, I can't see how long that's gonna last. The standard one looks nice though. But here's confirmation of the first fairway being hit. So, so far 100% as we've said, I'll leave those there in case we lose one. Although we shouldn't really be losing one if the design tip more fairways, should we? Right, it's placing, so we'll give that a clean. We have just over 150 yards, a nice attacking eight iron. I have been hitting it in the left-hand bunker on here recently. Let's see if we can take aim at that left-hand flag. Oh, that is at it. That is at it. Be good. Ah, oh, frightening. Straight in the bag. Yes, please. Let's see if we can birdie the first with this triangle construction or whatever it is. I mean, as a start can go. Yeah. So maybe we're asking a little bit much of the eight iron, but it's bang on line. Quite nice stopping power as well. We'll take that. Okay, okay, it's tri-balanced construction, not triangle. I will go into what that means actually in a second. Hopefully once you've rolled in this birdie putt, I mean, surely if you don't pick the right read and you don't start the ball on the right line or you don't hit it at the right pace, the construction of the golf ball can't really help you, can it? Surely not. Unless it's like Caddyshack. No, 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 Wow. No, 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 <laughs> Honestly, this, uh, right, Wilson. Uh, maybe we should get serious about this. Wilson! So, now we've birdied the first hole with this golf ball. We hit the fairway, we hit the green, and we hold the putt. We have a 100% record in all of these fields. What does the tri-balance construction mean? Basically, it's a patent-pending tri-balance construction which creates a uniform density and eliminates the negative effect of manufacturing inconsistencies within the ball. So basically it means it's perfectly round, I think. And you can imagine, guys, I get sent so much stuff and I get so much 
blurb with stuff that sometimes I find it hard to believe what I read. What do you think in this occasion? Let me know. Now, this isn't a driver hole. It never has been and it never will be. Unless maybe we have a golf ball that's designed to hit more fairways. So you, you kind of get the idea. We're going to hit driver here. We're going to see, basically we have to take it over this tree line, but I want to fade it back. Oh, how good is that? Wow. Um, I'm not sure what I expected from today, but birdie in the first and then hitting that probably wasn't it. Hmm. Now, I thought as much. I think we have our first missed fairway. And it's not by a lot, and it's not necessarily because it was a wide shot. It's just not gone far enough into the wind, really. So um, that's down to 50%. Come on, Wilson. What are we playing at here? But can we go birdie birdies? The fairway is literally here. So uh, yeah, this is another difficult pin to attack. And this is another one that I've actually been missing. I've been missing this long right. Never. <laughs> right, that's uh, that's five foot for another birdie. And it could well be some kind of maybe placebo effect. I'm subconsciously thinking, this ball's going to go straight, you don't have to worry too much about it, you relax a little bit more, you hit the fairway, you're in a better position, you hit the green. I think, I just don't see how it can work. Call me sceptical, I don't know. Oh yeah. Right, we waited 15 minutes for the green to clear. We're one under par, drivable par four. If this ball acts like it should, birdie is the minimum requirement, two under par four, the three holes we're playing. Green keepers are still there. They are not safe. Big hit over the corner. Oh, wow. That's as good as it gets. Yeah does feel very good. I'm still getting used to the feel of the stealth driver, but yeah. Arrow straight again. No, you're all right, mate. You make a better door than a window. I don't think it's the ball, mate. I think it's me. I hope it picked that up as well. So here's a proper test. Brett's just said, I can't believe how straight those balls go. Now, Brett plays off nine. nine. Um, Brett's not the best nine handicap in the world, but it's not the ball that's been going straight. I think, it's, I, I think it must have been me that's been hitting it straight. But if this goes straight, it has to be the ball. Is that a fair shout? Well, I'll tell you what. I think it's probably pushing it, but it wasn't as bad as your last tee shot. I did get his last tee shot on shot trace as well, so we'll compare them. <laughs> that one was better, we'll give it you. I think it's still lost, so thanks for that. Right, now this is annoying because that's the green and that is my ball. So distance wise, if I would have just taken off a little bit more, that would have been perfect. I honestly thought the line was good. It's amazing how far right you have to go on here to drive the green, but distance wise, that's as good as anything I've tested this year. That's highly comparable with Pro V1, TP5, all the premium balls. I don't think he's finding that though, unfortunately for Brett or for me or for Chris. A little left or right chip. go hmm not bad but certainly not good oh he's found it he's found it and he's closer than me too so we now have our third birdie put in three holes and that's uh, i mean proximity to the flag has been very very impressive i will say that and i will say that's another fairway hit so two out of three ain't bad there's a song there i know but wow <laughs> Now, I will admit, I certainly haven't made the most of that drive, but it is another chance. You've not hit it. You've not hit it. Right, one under par through three holes with the brand new, the brand new Wilson Triad Golf Ball. 
So what do we think? Well, I must admit, I think if it was that good, it was hitting more fairways, more greens, it was going to hold more putts, every golfer in the world would use it. So I'm interested to see who does use it, if some tour pros maybe gain it as well. One under through three, and I haven't been playing that well. There we go. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. I look forward to seeing you all at the same time tomorrow. Bye!